Okay, I just want to let everyone know, right now, this is not going to be a regular thing again. As I'm sure you noticed on my channel, I have taken down all my toy reviews. I am no longer doing toy reviews. But I thought I'd give you guys a quick glimpse of these guys, which I picked up at Toys R Us yesterday. Mortal Kombat X Scorpion, and Mortal Kombat X Sub-Zero. Basically, the faces of the franchise. Both boxes are pretty much the same, so I'll take a look at Scorpion first. Yeah, you'll have to excuse me, I've been a little funny lately. So, taking a look at the Scorpion here. We've got him here framed up in his nice little plastic thing. Mortal Kombat X, 12 inch figure, Scorpion, age of 17 plus. On the side here, we have a nice image of Scorpion. Mortal Kombat X right there side over here it's just Mortal Kombat X and on the back we have him posed here's some more figures six inch figures with Quan Chi, Kitana and Kotokan they're sub-zero comes with two swords two alternate hands I guess to hold the swords and his skull lantern but it doesn't look like he comes with the, the claw so we can't do the classic get over here kind of thing I'm sorry that was terrible not a toy for children, intended for adult collectors only, so these things are going right back in the box after I'm done. It says a little read-up right here, which says, Hanzo Hisashi, now known as Scorpion, is a resurrected ninja hellspawn specter, inexorably seeking vengeance against those responsible for the destruction of his clan and the death of his own family. That's enough here, so I'm going to go ahead and pull him out of the box. I'd show it. I'm not going to do that for Sub Zero, trust me. And here's how he looks out of the box. So I'm going to go ahead and take him out of his plastic. For the team, let me say this is a pretty neat backdrop of. Hell, basically. I'm keeping this. Okay, so here we have Scorpion open up, and yeah, he's around 12 inches tall. Just to give you guys an idea of scale, here's the 2015 Toa Who's maybe around 9 inches. <coughs> Comes with his Skull Lantern. Wait a minute. <laughs> That's pretty neat. Oh yeah, badass ninja he comes with his skull lantern. Two additional hands. Here's a left hand and a right hand. And his twin swords. Do they fit in here? like that. I'll get the other one here. Ooh, voila. <clears throat> Before I swap out the hands, articulation. Head is kind of limited due to his collar. Arms. Forward, back, up, down, elbows, rotate. Hands rotate. Waist. Nothing at the legs. Thighs rotate. And the feet rotate and pivot. 
sure how well you can see this, sorry. Swap out the hands. This pops off. And... Pop that right on there. The other one... Go on pretty easy. You can go on pretty easy, too. Ta-da! Now he's ready to kick some ass. Camera's leaning, sorry. So with Scorpion done, let's move on to Sub-Zero. I'm going to try to get him in the light. No, my lighting is terrible. Then again, one isn't, isn't it? I guess that's kind of better. It's very much the same thing as with Scorpion, only you got Sub-Zero down here instead of Scorpion. And an image of Sub-Zero over here. And on the back comes with his Ice Daggers, his Ice Ball, hands. And it says, Kwai Liang is the younger brother of Bai Han, the original Sub-Zero. After Bai Han was murdered by Scorpion, <laughs> Kwai Liang sought revenge. He mastered the art of ice and cold took his brother's former codename, Sub-Zero. So give me a minute to open him up. Alright, Sub-Zero is completely open. And tipsy. I'll tell you right now, his articulation is... Actually, he's got a bit more head movement than Scorpion did. So, that's cool. Then again, he also doesn't have his high collar. Scorpion's collar is. Kind of limits the head movement. But everything else minus the... Oh, yeah, he does have voice articulation. Found out that these things, too, can move, wiggle, extend. They don't come out, though. The, the daggers don't come out, so we can't hold the daggers. Again, all his articulation is exactly the same as Scorpion. He has this little peg hole right there in his hand. Not sure how well you can see that. But that's for this. Just. Kind of. Make sure it's lined up right, I guess. Get in there. And he can play basketball with it. Or you can swap out his hand. Take this hand. Put a nice dagger in it. I think that's about as good as I'm going to get it. Now he's ready to kick some ass. I didn't go over with Scorpion, but the detail on these guys is pretty good. Like, if I bring him closer. Actually, you know what? I'll just do this. I'll take my camera off the tripod. Jurassic World poster. Put him in the light. He's either completely white. He has he has young blood disease. There's the Lin Kuei crest. There's daggers along his waist. Ice dagger. Ice ball. These things look great in the light. All the leather. 
the armor and the boots. He's even got daggers on his arms. Pretty muscle tone, as you'd expect from a character in Mortal Kombat. It's enough for Scorpion, he's down there. He too has the pure white eyes. Am I the only one who thinks this mask kind of looks like a bird's beak? Got the straps. It's... The under part of his tunic kind of looks like it's not chainmail, but I don't know what that is. I don't think that's a place to store his swords. You'd think he'd have holsters in the back, but nope. But overall, I think these guys are pretty great. And they are massive. 12 inches, that's huge. But as I said earlier, this is not going to be a regular thing anymore. I might do one or two from time to time. But, hang on, hang on, hang on. <laughs> Give me a minute. There is only one shot we can end this on. But if anyone's wondering where you can find them, I found these guys yesterday at Toys R Us for about 40 bucks each. To set up your randomness. So I'm going to leave you with this shot right here with the two classic rivals about to throw down.